All right, so in this equation, I have 2 to the power of x squared over 4 to the power of x is equal to 16. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to start by rewriting 4 as 2 squared and 16 as 2 to the power of 4 so that all my terms are in powers of 2. So I get 2 to the power of x squared over 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, I can rewrite that as 4 to the power of x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 4. And, oops, sorry, this is not 4 to the power of x. This is actually 2 to the power of 2x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 4. And now from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So in this case, m is x squared and n is 2x. So I get 2 to the power of x squared minus 2x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, m is x squared minus 2x and n is 4, so I get x squared minus 2x is equal to 4. And now if I subtract 4 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now from here, to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2, and c is equal to negative 4. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared. So negative 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 4, all over 2a. So 2 times 1. And this is equal to positive 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 4 times 1 times negative 4, which is 4 plus 16 over 2. And this is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 20 over 2. Now, we can actually simplify this. The square root of 20 is the same thing as the square root of 5 times 4, which we can rewrite as the square root of 5 times the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is equal to 2, so this is equal to 2 root 5. So now I get x is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 root 5 over 2. And now if I divide both these terms by 2, I get x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5. All right, so in this equation, we have x times x times x plus x is equal to 30. So my only variable here is x, so we know that we're going to solve for x. So for my solution, what I'm first going to do is start by subtracting 30 on both sides. So if I subtract 30 on both sides, I get x times x times x plus x minus 30 is equal to 0. Now from here, I can rewrite this as x to the power of 3 plus x minus 30 is equal to 0 because x times x times x is the same thing as x to the power of 3. And now, 
A lot of people would think this is a quadratic equation, but this is a power of three, not a power of two, meaning we can't use the quadratic formula to solve this equation, or we can't simply use the normal method of factoring. So to actually solve this, what I'm gonna do is rewrite negative 30 as negative 27 minus three. And the reason I did this is because 27 is the same thing as three to the power of three. And notice how we have something to the power of three plus that same number and another something to the power of three minus that same number. So now I'm gonna group the two powers of threes. So I get x to the power of three minus three to the power of three plus I'm gonna group the powers of one. So plus x minus three. Now from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of three minus b to the power of three, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is equal to x and b is equal to three. So I get x minus three times x squared plus three x plus three squared, which is nine. Plus I have my x minus three at the end is equal to zero. Now from here, notice how both of these terms have x minus three in them. So what I'm gonna do is factor out x minus three. So I get x minus three times x squared plus 3x plus 9 plus 1 is equal to 0. And this is equal to x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 10 is equal to 0. And now I have two equations from this. I get x minus 3 is equal to 0 and x squared plus 3x plus 10 is equal to 0. So for x minus 3 equals 0, this is fairly simple. All I have to do is add 3 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 3. So this is one solution of x. Now, for x squared plus 3x plus 10 is equal to 0, this is a quadratic equation, meaning I can use the quadratic formula to solve this. So recall that the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 3, and c is 10. So I get x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 3 squared, which is 9, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 10, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And now this is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 40 over 2, which is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 31 over 2. And negative 31 is the same thing, or sorry, the square root of negative 1, 31, is the same thing as the square root of 31 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to the magic number i. So I get negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 31 i over 2. And this is actually two solutions x is equal to negative 3 plus the square root of 31i over 2, and x is equal to negative 3 minus the square root of 31i over 2. Now from here, going back, my original equation was x times x times x plus x minus 30 equals 0. Well, these two are complex solutions, so we can't really check them, and they are not actual solutions, but what we can check is three. So if we plug in three, we get three times three times three plus three is equal to 30, which turns into 27 plus three is equal to 30, and 
I get 30 is equal to 30. 